we mole you guys. Keep left Look onto Moon Ridge Road. Look at this. Then turn left onto Big Bear it Boulevard. Is February 23rd, 2022. And we may have gotten like five inches of snow at my house. Maybe, maybe some. I know some parts of town got at least six inches, but we probably got five inches. At the traffic house. lights, super, super turn left onto Big Bear Boulevard. How is everybody doing this fine day? I, I, oh, oh, look, look at this guy, oh, look at this guy, oh, shoot, oh, oh, no. At least he stopped, like, he, he, he made it okay. He made it okay. Wow, oh, let's see how he does on this turn right here. Woo, come on, buddy. Take charge. Have a, have a good time. The guy next to him needs to be very careful. In That's two miles, bear like, right onto Lakeview Drive. When we're driving an all-wheel drive vehicle and then we still lose control, that's not fun. But anyway, hope everyone's having a good day. <laughs> hope there's not too many people out on the road. I, I accidentally uh, slept in until 11, which... Uh, my cat was sleeping on my phone, so my phone is on Do Not Disturb until 10 a.m. Because that's when I start work. But he was sleeping on my phone, and I missed a bunch of phone calls. Not a good thing, but it is what it is. to Lakeview Drive. Well, thank you, Mr. GPS. <clears throat> we gotta make a quick stop. I am very happy with not that much traffic out here. This is great. This will make it so I can do our drive a lot better and a lot easier and a lot more fun. A lot more fun. Oh my goodness. It's going to be a lot more fun. Looks like I'm flying, but I'm only going 37. Oh, now the speed limit's 35. It, it is 40 most of the way back there, so I don't want anyone to think I'm driving like a bat out of hell. Driving like a bat out of hell. before we left and I never do that. That's something all of you should do. Can you guys believe it's still snowing too? Like what is going on here? These forecasters really need to find something else to do. I think for the past two years there hasn't been one storm where they've even been, been remotely close to a proper prediction. Not even remotely close in any single storm in the past two years. It must be nice to be wrong 100% of the time and still make bank. Maybe that's one of the reasons I wanted to be a meteorologist. I still do. I think that would be awesome. But if these guys who have many years of experience are somewhat hacks, then there's no way that I would be, be any good at it. So it's, it's, it's Bear right onto Lakeview really Drive, then turn right. All right, folks, we need to, we need to turn right right up here. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Alrighty then. Cheerio. Corn 
the stop right. sign, turn right onto Lakeview Drive. Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Alright, <laughs> hang on a second. Give me a give me a moment, sir. Give me just a moment in time. Alright. There we go. You guys know I'm a weirdo. You guys know I oh sometimes I need to pay attention to everything else rather than the damn camera. Surprised the camera doesn't break every In three quarters of a mile, turn right onto Laguna de Lang. Damn! Yeah, I got some good rest last night. I am I, even though I remember going to bed once it got light, so it was like six in the five thirty, six in the morning, and I started seeing a little bit of daylight outside. And then the snow plow came through my little neighborhood and the lights were so bright because I had my blinds open so I could see the snow. This is so pretty. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is so pretty. I hope you guys are enjoying this. And it's still snowing and it's almost noon. It's just crazy. Just so wrong, these weather people. It's just unreal to me. I mean, I don't know how they can get it so wrong. I, I'm not. I'm not trying to bitch and complain. I don't think I could do any better. I guarantee you, I couldn't. I'd be worse. But still, it's just. It's just incredible how wrong the information always is. That's why, you guys, it's always important to carry tire chains with you, no matter what. Have warm clothing in the car, food and water, blankets. Just everything to keep you guys Turn safe. right onto Laguna de Lane, then so, the destination is on your right. Alright guys. We're going by one of my favorite hotels right here. In a quarter mile, the destination is on your right. 149 Laguna de Lane. Lagunita Lodge. I love it because when I stay here, I stay right on the lake and it's, it's really nice. It is really nice. Alright guys, I just shut it off for a couple minutes and now look, we're getting some blue skies up here. And it looks like it's supposed to start snowing in a couple hours again for about an hour. But not much. I knew I should have sped up. Dang it, Nick. Why do you always do this to yourself? So I decided that we're going to head up to the Sugarloaf area on this drive and then we will come back down. Sugarloaf's going to be pretty crazy driving up Maple, but we're not going to come down Maple. We're, we're going to come down Baldwin. So basically we're going to that side of town and then we're going to record the whole way though. I am so excited. I hope this video doesn't take us forever to upload though because that'll, that'll be terrible. That'll be terrible. Alrighty. It's so nice not having that much traffic, you guys. Oh my gosh, you have no idea. Usually days like this, it's redonkulous. Redonkulous, bro. You know what? I need to get gas, but I'm not gonna get gas here. This is like the, this is the most expensive gas station in town, you guys. You don't want to get gas there. You don't want to get gas there. It'll give you gas. It'll give you geese. You don't want the geese. You know what? We're gonna go through the village. Screw it. Screw it, man. Screw it, man. Oh, I guess they they are they they are going. Wow. I can't believe we actually got snow, you guys. This is crazy. I better snow down a little bit. How beautiful. Look at that. Look at how beautiful that is. All these families up here having just a great time together. This is so nice. I love seeing that so much, you guys. Look at We actually got a decent amount of snow. I can't freaking believe it. And this is not the aftermath video either. The aftermath is going to be 
the follow the probably the following video. It's okay, right? Look at everyone, or most people have their chains on. I like seeing that. I'm sorry that you guys have to deal with that, though. It is a pain in the... Okay, that made a lot of sense. Uh, it's a pain in the butt, but it is what it is. And actually, not a lot of people have their chains on. I really suggest chains, you guys. It's really cold out here. You guys want to have chains on. So we're gonna go through the rest of the village. Is this guy gonna go down? All right. I can't forget to get gas, that's important. I cannot forget to get some, some gasoline for this for this vehicle for the vehicle some gasoline for my vehicle it is so pretty out here holy smokes it makes me feel so good and i'm gonna put my my patience cap on today you guys i know i'm gonna need it even though there's not much traffic <clears throat> If you guys go back like five or six or, or even seven years on this channel, you'll see a, a huge difference in my, my attitude towards other drivers. <clears throat> this poor guy, is, he's trying, trying to find a parking spot. You'll find one, man, where there's a will, there is a way. Okay, we're gonna stop and get gas right here. All right. Boom. Gosh, it's so pretty. Hang tight, folks. All right, sweet, we went and got gas. They only had 91 left, and that's all I use in this car, so perfect. Worked out for me. Works out for me. Boom, shakalaka. That sound is freaking killing me. I'm gonna try and alleviate that a little bit. And I'm not really helping it. It's all this stuff right here. It's shaking and it just, it's so annoying. So I'm sticking something in there to make it a little tighter, tighter fit and it's still not helping. It's pretty cool. I've got like the nicest scanner also. That's the best police scanner on the planet. I, I got that originally for like all the really nasty conditions up here just so I could hear what the cops are saying about um, what the roads are like and uh, just how absolutely dangerous it is because that's as as real live footage as you can get. But I don't know how to use it, so I've never used it. And those other ones, one's a CB radio and the other is like sirens. I have like all the sirens and a loudspeaker and all that good stuff. It's a lot of fun, man. I have a lot of fun in this car. I don't do the sirens on the road though because that's impersonating a police officer and that is a big time, big time bust. So I don't want to ever get caught doing that. I, I bought it in the heat of the moment, I guess. In the heat of the moment. All right. Yep, we do got two lanes here, so. Let's utilize them both, huh? Utilize them both, bro. There we go. Cheerio. Oh, now this guy's making a third lane. I don't know why he's doing that. Oh, he's turning left, okay. You know 
but we might have to take the shortcut. It's not much of a shortcut. But we know our way around. Save us a little bit of time. A little bit of time and energy. So yeah, there's two lanes here. What is he doing? Well, there are two lanes, so I'm, I'm not doing anything crazy, but I am turning right here. All right. So we're going to go to Sugarloaf right now, but we're not going to take the main road. We're going to take all these side streets. It is a little bit slick, you guys. It's fun. On these streets, you want to be super careful because there, there, there will be kids because there's we're in neighborhoods now, so you, you don't want to be going too fast. It's starting to snow again a little bit. We're coming up to Summit Boulevard, which is where Bear is. Seriously, it's, it's getting so annoying, like I kind of want to take that thing out. Nothing I'm doing is helping. All right, so there's Big Bear Boulevard over there. We're cruising through here. But yeah, we're gonna take the back roads. And so we don't get stuck behind the plow, I'm gonna take us even a, a backer road. <laughs> the back of the back roads. A really far back road. We're gonna turn right here on Crestwood. Shut up already. Seriously, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna rip that thing out of my freaking glove box case. So we're gonna take Crestwood until we get to Evergreen. And then we're gonna turn left on Evergreen and that'll hit, hit Moon Ridge Road for us. sound than that rattling. So pretty. They probably got six inches over here. The closer you get to the, to the ski resort, which you can see straight ahead, the more snow. So they did say like eight, eight inches, maybe more, but I'll give them a little bit of credit. However, in the main part of town, it's maybe like four inches, five inches, but still. The timing was so off. It was supposed to start at a certain time. It was supposed to stop. And it, it was like the opposite of what was said. But still, once again, I'm very grateful for it. The trees have a little bit of white in them, which is nice. I like it when they're completely covered in white, though. Apple's bed and breakfast. Look at this guy. Your Tesla didn't really uh, help you out there too much, did it? I want a Tesla so bad. I want me a Tesla. Those are 
awesome vehicles. I love Teslas. snowfall we've had just about all season I think I have to go back and check out some of the videos but I think this is the best So we are going to go up to Big Red Boulevard. Oh, never mind. It does look kind of bad. Oh, you man. It's all right. We'll just turn right here and then head back to Sugarloaf Boulevard. Because I want to get this video made and uploaded. So that's why I'm like kind of wanting to get there in a timely fashion so you guys aren't waiting all day for this video.
Sugarloaf's the only one that goes all the way through. Next one after this. Officially in Big Bear City, you guys. Big Bear City doesn't have that many lodges. It's mostly a residential area. Big Bear Lake is where we have all the resorts, all the all the big lodges and stuff like that. Big Bear Lake is my favorite part of the Bear Valley. There's Fawn Skin, there's Sugarloaf, there's Baldwin, there's Irwin, there's Big Bear Lake and Big Bear City. Boulevard once we catch up to Mr. Plow Plow. These guys do a good job, you guys, keeping these roads safe. They do the best they can and they do a tremendous job. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. Putting on chains on that thing has to really suck though. here and avoid him. Dun, dun, dun. Big Bear Boulevard is looking pretty nasty though. Take Sherwood for a little bit. If you can see straight ahead, that's Big Bear Boulevard where all those cars are. So we're gonna take Sherwood for a little, oh, maybe not. Now we slid right through there. You guys did not see that. That was not my driving. Someone took over for a second and I slid. Unbelievable, how dare you. Snowplow's probably to the right of us now, let's see. See him yet. Sweet. So we're going to take this all the way to a street called Paradise. Then we're going to take Paradise to Big Bear Boulevard and then go up to Sugarloaf for a moment. Gosh, it's so pretty today, you guys. i to slow down because this guy's in front of us and we have a stop sign on this huge hill. sliding all over the place it's great it's fun you know as long as it's safe it's but it's it's fun seeing cars just sliding like they're in an ice ring stop sign right here. So the further we go this direction, you guys, the less snow there typically is. Thank you. 
Here we go, right after this blue car, we are good. Turn right onto Maple Lane. Woohoo! Alright, we're at Maple and we're gonna go up here. Sorry. In one mile, turn yeah, right onto Manzanita like, Lane. Like literally hardly anything, guys, so maybe like 300 yards. So we're heading up into Sugarloaf. This is where the high school is as well. This is where the high school is. Oh, cheerio. Why am I in accent type of a guy today? Wow, I did a British and an Australian accent in the same damn thing. That was kind of weird. But I'm weird, so what can I say? Here's the high school. I want to go to high school. Alright, starting to snow again. This is so awesome. I enjoy it so much. In half a mile, turn right onto Santa Barbara Avenue. In half a mile, turn right onto Santa Barbara Avenue. Well, this is trying to take us all the way back home. Because I have my GPS on uh, back home, but it wants me to turn around to, to, to go that way. I don't know why the GPS is even on. My phone's having some issues right now.
this little beautiful area. It's just untouched. Come up here and build beautiful snowmen right there. Okay, we had to turn around you guys because it's a little bit, uh, I kind of got almost stuck and I thought the camera was on, not stuck, you guys, because you guys know that would never happen to me. That would never happen to Mr. Nick over here. But we went into part of Santa Barbara Street that was pretty nuts. And I guess when I turned down my volume on my phone, I guess it shut off the camera and I didn't realize it. So we missed like a bunch of little fun footage, but that's okay. It is what it is. You guys, this is so amazing. I am so happy. I am so happy. Like, this is crazy. There's one of these little steep slopes again. Oh my God! Ah! Ah! Guys, they got a foot of snow up here in Sugarloaf. So I guess I need to kind of apologize to all the weather people that I've been bad mouthing. Cause I got out of my car just to see something. And it was, you know what, I probably, but I thought it was recording. So I thought you guys would have seen it. So, but they got a foot of snow up here. Crazy. I am so happy right now. What a beautiful thing. I'm a very bliss, very bliss at the moment here. Oh, I'm blissful. Chokey, we're just gonna go right here. Avoid those guys in front of us. And then make a lefty Lucy here. So we're gonna go down Baldwin, guys, because we're not gonna risk going down Maple. If you guys seen a video that some other dude did up here, he's only done one video and it has more views than all my videos combined. It's crazy. <laughs> it's so funny. Hey, that guy's going the wrong way. What is this, the Twilight Zone? What's going on here? would be making a left here at this stop sign but we're gonna go straight there I think the, oh the bus is gonna take the risk holy moly that's crazy bus that's crazy mr. bus mr. bus man put on your chains you're gonna crash all goddamn day all right I hope this video isn't ridiculously too long for you guys. But we're making a nice little run through town. Side of town typically a lot or less snow significantly less snow oh this is such a bummer see putting on chains when it's these freaking conditions is really a pain in the butt because it's already cold and dudes in shorts poor guy let's get a little loose here unfortunately the Subaru grabbed too well right there so we couldn't I love it when it's so cold because we don't get any melt out here. The direct sunlight 
the the radiation from it would still melt a little bit of snow even at these temperatures but I love when the roads are just white like this it's so beautiful man it's a complete transformation Such a good mood. Such a good mood, man. They make me very happy. If it makes you happy. If it makes you happy. There's this one uh, Mexican food truck up here, so and it's usually parked right in front of this lodge lodge building right here and it's not here today I've always wanted to eat there I haven't eaten there yet and I want to eat at that food truck there seems to be a lot of people that go there and that's how I judge if a place is good I know that's that's pretty much common sense but I do the parking lot test right so if if you're in a foreign like a town that you don't know and you don't know what's gonna be good to eat if you drive by a restaurant and the parking lots empty pass it if you drive by a place and it's got a lot of cars, then you know it's probably pretty good. Pretty common sense stuff, but still. All right, so here's Maple, you guys. So we just went kind of the long way around there. took the side streets all the way out here so we're going to take Big Bear Boulevard all the way back so you guys can get a little s sensation of what it's like, a semblance of what it's like. Those are probably two of the wrong words to use for what I was trying to say but it is what it is. This video is going to be ridiculous how long it takes to upload. This, this side of town, we usually get blue ahead of my side of town because the desert climate is eating away at these storms right here. The desert's just right on the other side of these mountains over here, on that side. But I did get good rest, so I don't know why I'm a little bit tired, but I feel good. I knew that I would. I feel good.
here, smoke and or bear smoke and vape shop. You guys, seriously, they are the coolest people. And as I've always told you guys, it's it's, it's not just smoke stuff in there. They have other little like uh, gifts that that you can get for your friends and stuff like that. Stuff from like coasters of Big Bear to to shirts and stuff like that. They have a lot of cool stuff in there. And the owner is super cool. Yeah, things are going pretty good up here today. Looks like a lot of people are happy. because I got out and stood in the snow for a minute thinking that I was recording with you guys. So that kind of sucked. I didn't I, I didn't realize it till long gone, till long I was till long after I was gone. And I have another hour to get to McDonald's to get my McGriddles today, so I'm so happy about that. We're going to make it my friend. If I didn't do what I do, what would be a fun job for me, even though it's not a full-time job because it's not snowing here all the time, would be to drive a, a big snow plow and then just set up a camera on that thing like 24 hours a day or the whole time that I'm driving the snow plow. That would be awesome. That would be a fun, a fun thing to do, I think. Wouldn't it be right up my alley, you guys? That would be like perfect for me because of how much I love to be in the snow. Snowplay Park right here. This is one of them. It's called Big Bear Snowplay. Oh yeah. And then as I always point out, this is my favorite neighborhood across this prairie area. We'll be getting a better view of it in just a moment. It's just, I don't know, it's it's like little house on the prairie type thing. It's just so beautiful. So peaceful and tranquil. Skies are just so blue today. Yep, 
Yeah, see, the reason why I didn't think we had much, well, so, okay, Sugarloaf sh shouldn't really count as a proper forecast because it's a lot higher up in elevation. When they refer to Big Bear, they're referring about like this area right here. So it's not, it's, I don't know, there's probably like five inches over here. But up there, there was like double at least. We drove through that neighborhood. Pretty cool stuff. So I'll shut it down for a second until it turns. drive for our first drive during the day after all the snow as I said there's gonna be a little bit more snow in probably another hour or so but that's about it the snow sun is looking amazing just amazing you guys a lot. I love doing this for you guys. I hope you guys really are having a beautiful day. You guys take care, okay? It's February 23rd, 2022. Up here in Big Bear. And you can see it's snowing on top of Bear Mountain over there a little bit. Anyway, guys, take care. Peace out.